Manon by Jules Massonet. The synopsis is presented by Opera Inside, the online opera guide. The roles. Manon, young woman. Lesko, cousin of Manon. De Griot, chevalier, nobleman. De Griot, count and father of the chevalier de Griot. Guyot, wealthy man. Though Bretigny, wealthy nobleman. The two wealthy men Guyot and Obratini enjoy themselves in an inn with three young friends. Lesko is also in there. He is expecting a stagecoach in which his cousin Manon is sitting. He has been instructed by her family to escort Manon to a monastery. The stagecoach arrives and Lesko greets his 15 year old cousin Manon. Manon looks good, has charm and arouses the interest of Guyot and Obratini. Lesko leaves Manon for a while because he wants to go to a card game. Guyot takes the chance and spontaneously offers her a life of luxury against a love affair. Manon is not interested, but meets the young Chevalier de Griot. He falls in love with Manon. She also likes de Griot and they spontaneously decide to steal Guyot's carriage and flee to Paris. They live in a small apartment in Paris. De Griot writes a letter to his father asking for his permission to marry. Somebody knocks on the door. Manon's cousin Lesko appears, accompanied by the Bretigny. While Lesko is arguing with De Griot, though Bretigny takes Manon aside and tells her that De Griot's father would not accept a marriage, and that he will be abducted this evening. Bretigny offers her an alternative life and luxury for her love. When the two have left, De Griot dreams of a life in countryside but Manon dreams of a glamorous life and luxury. So she does not warn De Griot in the evening. De Griot is brought to his father. Manon enjoys her life and luxury. On a Sunday promenade, Manon's rich lover even hires the ballet to celebrate the graceful Manon. De Griot's father is also invited, and he tells Manon that his son is going to be ordained a priest. Manon is suddenly inflamed again and sets off for the seminary. In the seminary, De Griot has already acquired the reputation of a gifted preacher. He does not let his father dissuade him from dedicating his life to God. Then Manon appears, asks him for forgiveness and De Griot cannot resist her tenderness. De Griot and Manon live together. Her desire for luxury devours large sums of money. Soon De Griot has squandered his inheritance. Out of desperation, De Griot seeks his fortune in the game. He plays against Guyot in the casino. Guyot loses a lot of money and accuses De Griot of cheating. The policeman, instructed by De Griot's father, arrests De Griot and release him soon after. They have their eyes on Manon. She is imprisoned as an accomplice. De Griot and Lesko have learned that Manon has been sentenced to overseas deportation. They want to free her. With his last money Lesko bribes a sergeant and the fatally ill Manon is released for a short time. Manon repents of her deeds and asks De Griot for forgiveness. She remembers their time of love and tenderness and dies in his arms. www.opruinside.com all about operas. Learn more about this great opera. With interesting facts and great YouTube videos. Visit us.